Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, January 31st. We shall inherit all things. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Revelation 21 verse 7 In order to inherit all things, we must resist and overcome sin. We may have joy in the Lord if we will keep His commandments. If we indeed have our citizenship above and a title to an immortal inheritance and eternal substance, we have that faith which works by love and purifies the soul. We are members of the heavenly family, children of the heavenly king, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. At his coming, we shall have the crown of life that fadeth not away. The monarch of heaven would have you possess and enjoy all that can ennoble, expand, and exalt your being and fit you to dwell with him forever, your existence measuring with the life of God. What a prospect is the life which is to come! What charms it possesses! How broad and deep and measureless is the love of God manifested to men! The privileges granted to the children of God are without limit to be connected with Jesus Christ, who, throughout the universe of heaven and worlds that have not fallen, is adored by every heart and his praises sung by every tongue to be children of God, to bear his name, to become a member of the royal family, to be ranged under the banner of Prince Emmanuel, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The Son of God was the heir of all things, and the dominion and glory of the kingdoms of this world were promised to him. Even as Christ was in the world, so are his followers. They are the sons of God and joint heirs with Christ, and the kingdom and dominion belong to them. In place of the world, he will give you, for a life of obedience, the kingdom under the whole heavens. He will give you an eternal weight of glory and a life that is as enduring as eternity. Our Father cares, January 31st.